2024 Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. Overview. With a 505 HP twin turbo V6 and a brilliantly tuned chassis, the 2024 Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio has muscled its way toward the top of the competitive sports sedan segment. While it's not as posh as the Mercedes MC63 or as lithe as the Cadillac Court 4V Blackwing, the Alfa brings a massive serving of passion to the table, all the better to charm its driver into clipping apexes on even the most routine commutes. The other thing it serves up is the potential for a maint. We drove one for over 40,000 miles, and it didn't end that long-term test with the best reputation for reliability. Geeked-out car buffs won't likely care about that, though. The Giulia Quadrifoglio is that much fun to drive. Although it hasn't had a styling update since it was launched as a 2018 model, the Giulia remains one of the most beautiful cars in the class. Its interior, too, is stylish, even if it lacks the same level of fit and finish as its competitors. What's new for 2024 question mark .to celebrate the 100th birthday of the four leaf clover quadrifoglio badge it puts on its high performance cars. Alfa Romeo has ginned up an exclusive 100T Hanny Versa Rio model of the high powered Giulia Quadrifoglio sports sedan. Only 100 will be built and all of them come with gold painted brake calipers, unique wheels, carbon fiber grill and mirror caps gold stitching on the seats and dashboard, and a set of commemorative badges inside and out. The Giulia Quadrifoglio otherwise benefits from the same upgrades as the non-cuff model, which includes new LED headlamps and tail lamps. The car also now comes with a larger one 2.3-inch digital gauge display. We wouldn't add much to the Giulia's equipment list, as it already boasts desirable features such as in-dash navigation, blind spot monitoring, heated front seats, front and rear parking sensors, leather upholstery, and a 15-speaker Harman or Cardin audio system. If you're into driver assists, and we understand why you might not care for them in a driver's car like this one, we'd suggest adding the Active Assist Plus package as it comes with Lane Keeping Assist, a driver attention monitor, and Alpha's adaptive cruise control system, which features a lane centering feature. All-wheel drive is not on the menu, however. The Cuff is strictly a rear-drive sedan, which is one of the reasons it's so much fun to hustle. Engine, transmission, and performance. With its rhapsodic twin-turbo 2.9-liter V6 and a well-calibrated 8-speed automatic transmission, the rear drive only Giulia Quadrifoglio is a riot to pilot. The Italian built, Ferrari derived engine produces 505 horsepower, 443 pound feet of torque, and a spine tingling timber that shames most rivals. Too bad a manual transmission isn't available. We're also sad to report that Alfa Romeo lives up to its reputation for unreliability with our long-termer exhibiting several mechanical glitches. The Julia's engine contains its excitement when cruising at low RPM and in top gear. Applying the throttle below 3,000 revolutions per minute results in merely a hint of hesitation. But then the turbos spool up and power builds in a whirlwind of acceleration and a ripping exhaust note. The eight-speed automatic gearbox is decisive and quick to swap gears in the sportier drive modes, and the Julia's supple chassis is a willing partner in high-spirited hijinks. The Alpha shines on track and handles daily driving well, with perfect damping and notable isolation from harsh impacts. The zestier driving modes don't compromise ride quality either. And then there's the sensational steering. The thin-rimmed steering will feels like a blast from the past, offering feather light effort, communicative feedback, and pleasingly quick response. The synthesis of these traits into a seamless whole is what separates the Quadrifoglio from its main rivals and helped it win a comparison test against the M3.